I have to say the perfect song is, as I mentioned, all my songs are about couples, young couples. And uh, this is one of those songs where the relationship ends and you realize time goes by and you're like, this shouldn't have ended. And I'm going to wait for you. And we're meant to be together. And it's got that nostalgic feel to it. And you can kind of put yourself there. Came out in 1984. Any guesses? A uh, solo song from a very famous band member. I don't know. Man, I am stumped. 1984's The Boys of Summer by Don oh, Henley. Oh, oh, is yeah. the perfect song. Okay. That yep. is a great song. That is a great song. And then covered by the Ataris. Correct. Also, a pretty good cover, too. Great cover. Yeah. Definitely the same kind of feel to it, but uh, a little bit more of a punk version, you know? Black flag instead sticker of, on the Instead Cadillac. of the deadhead sticker, it's the black flag sticker <laughs> on the Cadillac. Uh, Rob is Snapchatting or something right now. It's very disarming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> going to put that on my social media. So, hey, yeah, check, out, check our social medias because I'm, I'm going to have him send that to me, too. So, yeah, Boys of Summer. Great song, and it, it just... The entire and Don it was Don Henley, right? So the original. Yep. And it's coming from the Eagles to 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 put a song like that out after the fact, as many hits as the Eagles had. I mean, he kind of showed everybody where they were coming from, right? Absolutely, and that was from his second solo album. And that song, I have my top one hundred favorite eighty songs, and I put them in order, which was torture for me. You think this three songs thing <laughs> is is hard for me? <laughs> But I'm like, no, that has to be the next spot up. But uh, Boys of Summer is my my number three favorite 80s song. That's amazing. Wow. And um, fun fact about Boys of Summer is, I don't know if you guys knew this, but do you know who wrote the music to that? I don't know, but they killed it. And who plays the guitar on the it? The guitar is all time. That was going to be my comment. The, the guitar intro is all time. Yep. Uh, no, who? A famous guitarist for another band. Hmm. Mark Knopfler? No. No, I get nothing. Mike Campbell. Oh, wow. From Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. He wrote the music to that and offered it to Tom Petty. It was supposed to be a Tom Petty song. He turned it down, which is so crazy to think about because what if he took it? What would it sound like? And we would also have no Boys of Summer. Right. Which is so crazy to think about. He would have slayed it too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can see Tom Petty singing. I don't know what the words would have been. It would have been slower. Yeah. Yeah. It would have yeah. been a slower song in a good way. I mean, Petty would have made it right. a Petty song and it would have been would fucking have made awesome. It his own. That did you I saw that I think on that somewhere you feel free documentary that they threw out on HBO, not HBO, on YouTube, the Petty one after he died about wildflowers and the making of that. I remember hearing it in that. They talked about I don't know if it was Ben Montench or somebody like that talked about it and okay. I was like that's that's where I heard that yep. that song was written for Petty, but Right. And then Don wrote the lyrics to it. Imagine passing on that, though. I know. It's crazy. <laughs> Jeez. It's not really the sound we're looking for right now, man. <laughs> I don't think it's going to do move units. Yeah, you don't Pass. know how it feels to be me, bro. <laughs> All right, so I got a question for you then. So 80s, you know, is your decade. We were talking about this earlier. 90s is mine, maybe all of ours, because we kind of grew up with that. Why number three? Like, why is that one so special to you? Obviously, there's some connotation there. So, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the nostalgia factor for me. Like, me, music to me is... I gotta feel. I gotta feel it, and that song makes me feel nostalgic. It makes me. It's. It's. I don't even know how to explain this without sounding like a fucking weirdo, but it's one of those songs that just it brings me back, and I can. I the video that goes along to it, and it just you know it just makes you think of you know when you were a kid, and yep. and um, obviously uh, I think the boys of summer. I think I read was a, a reference to the guys that she's hanging out with they're they're just summer flinks mm -hmm. and they're going to yep. be gone and i'm going to get you back i'm going to show you what i'm made of well the Atari's captured that essence too like that was the whole theme of, it was a youth related right. album like they, absolutely they did capture capture the spirit of the original song yep good choice Thank